Hey, it's uh, Tim Ria down here, ARVR Live down at the UW in Seattle with uh, Carlos and uh, with Epic Scan. How you doing? Fantastic. How so, you doing, Tim? So how do you say your last name so everybody gets that? Velasquez. Velasquez. Yes. Cool. Diego Velasquez might be the most fa uh, famous Velasquez in history. Yeah. yeah. So, so um, I, ca I caught up with Carlos because he has a really cool demo. We'll pull up some of the graphics off of your scanning uh, in, in your company. But let's first find out who you are because you've been, you've been in this business for a while uh, working in the space. Yes, yes we have. Uh, we actually bought the first commercial unit available uh, back in 1999. So I've been doing this for over 18 years. What do you, what do, you do once the area? Uh, what it is, is we work with architects, engineers, and general contractors, and whenever they're renovating any existing buildings or plants or anything that's already built, yeah. they need to know what's there, is yeah. the simplest way to explain it. So what we do is we use these high-tech laser scanners, or LIDAR is the technology, light yeah. detection and ranging, and we go in and we create these 3D maps of the existing space. We take all that 3D data, we bring it back into the office, and we convert it into what is called a BIM model. So it's an, an A BIM model, Eric. <laughs> Building information model yeah, yeah, is, yeah. is what the acronym stands for. And it's, it's basically a visual database of everything that exists in the building. Now the architects, engineers, and contractors know what's out there, and they can design with true, accurate information of what's true to the real, wo real world. It's a, how, would, how would the hackathon people here use the BIM model, and how do you see this technology kind of progressing forward? Um, at the hackathon level, what is fascinating is this data that we are currently working with is just kind of reaching the, its first infancy of value proposition. The dimensional data is fantastic. It gives you an accurate representation of what's out there. But we're learning how to use this, to leverage it in more capacity. So as we are finding, what we're finding right now is we're evolving into Facility management tools are starting to become a next use of these BIM models. Yeah, yeah. Virtual reality, augmented reality, all of this, this digital content that we are currently capturing and processing into is going to be the assets that are going to be needed for all this digital, yeah. this digital world that we're evolving into exactly. right now. So it's kind of the backbone. Exactly, exactly. It's the backbone. Yeah. It, all the information is going to be pulled from in a lot of a lot of different applications. Okay, cool, and who are your customers then? Uh, primarily architects, engineers, and general contractors. Uh, we're, we're finding more and more owners that we're starting to work with. Uh, we're working with Google. We've got a recent project with Google, so that's been fun to see starting to happen. Um, interested in some bigger engineering firms, so uh, like Jacobs and the, those large, large engineering firms, Black & Veatch, so we work with a lot of different interesting groups. It, and how do you see, um um, new layers of value being pulled together between like BIM models and, and, and just building management and things like that using this technology? Um, I think more than anything what it's doing is it's finally giving us a good inventory of the assets, right? So now instead of you having these file folders or these file cabinets full of information, you can compile it into one digital model. The last Seattle Hackathon, for example, that I was here, one of the hacking teams, what they did is they, they tied up a Siri type of application to a BIM model. So imagine they could ask uh, it questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right? interesting. Yeah, so, you could like gaze patterns and say, what is that like there? Or, or they were talking even on the construction level. How many people are going to be in, uh, in the field on this day? How many pieces of equipment? How many of the certain type of equipment? Oh, What's okay. the size of this room? But then you can start in the building, you can start actually asking it intelligent questions. Uh -huh right, that you need answers to. That kind of ties right in the smart city initiatives that are even happening right in Seattle. Absolutely, absolutely. So the more, the more we're able to digitize, the more we're then starting to connect it to real information. So what is that beam? What is that material? What is that, who made that, that piece of yeah, equipment? The metadata that goes with exactly. it. Exactly. Okay. So as you tie it to that smart information, now you can make smarter decisions, be able to maintenance things faster. Yeah. You can start to control uh, cost uh, through your um, energy consumption. Yeah. So as you tie these smart buildings up into your power consumption, yeah. right? Lighting, so lots of interesting yeah. use cases. Cool, so how do people get a hold of you? Epicscan.com, E-P-I-C-S-C-A-N. That's a great place to start, and uh, please do. So now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go take a look at some scans and do some fly-throughs and you can kind of annotate what's uh, happening. Absolutely. All right, well, thanks for your time. Yeah. Thank you, Tim. What we have here is a laser scanner. 
And what this does is it actually sends out up to one million points per second. It sends out these 3D points and creates a 3D map of anything that is in front of it. So we can digitize anything. Cool. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to start it up. So right now we've already set up all the parameters of how much data we want to capture. We start the scan here. And what you'll see is it's going to start to, the mirror towards the center is going to start to spin. And that's where the laser light begins to come out. So as you see that, that mirror rotating, what's happening is upwards of one million points per second is being projected as that spins around. So it's just getting the, it's just laser, no camera on there. There is a camera as well. So it first does a, a laser path to, yeah. to capture all the dimensional data. So it creates a 3D map that is accurate to within a quarter of an inch. And then it does a second path where it captures all the imagery. And so then it overlays that, those RGB values onto the data. So how long, do, how long do these projects take to scan a building, of, say, of this space here? Oh, this, uh, our teams, they'd run through this in a few hours, <laughs> you know, to be absolutely honest. Okay, cool. uh, but there's, there's an incredible amount of uh, area you can cover very yeah. quickly, very you efficiently. You guys just do it as a service, so you guys Correct. come in and... So if, if you are an architect, engineer, or contractor that is actually looking to get into the world of BIM modeling, existing conditions BIM modeling, yeah. what we can do is we can help you to uh, accelerate that by you come to us, you tell us what your project is, we'll come there, we will capture everything that's existing, produce the BIM model, now you can run off with your design. Yeah. Now you know exactly what's there, we give you this great package of the raw point cloud, the BIM model, and then something like a Google Street View, if you will. So now you have digital data and a visual of your entire site conditions. So let's go to the computer now. Okay. Take a look. Let's do it. Camera. All right.